Okay, so now it's time to set up our main interaction that we're going to have in the game. So what we need to do is navigate into our resources folder, go to prefabs and props, excuse me, and we're gonna find this weapon box prop. And what we're gonna actually do is drag this out into our scene. Um, we actually don't wanna move it, we wanna, oh, excuse me, wanna keep it right at zero, zero, zero. But what we're gonna do is drag this back into our prefabs folder. So not into props, not into any or any subfolder. We wanna drag this by itself into the prefabs folder. And what this is gonna do is create an original prefab instance. When we hit original prefab, it's gonna ask you this pop-up hit original prefab. So now we have our own custom prefab that's based off that prefab that was a prop. We're gonna rename this to mystery chest. And we're going to rename the one, or we're going to delete the one in our scene, actually. So now with our mystery chest uh, established here, what we want to do is go ahead and hit add component and hit new script. And we're going to type, once again, mystery chest. Going to add that to our prefab here, just, just like that. Uh, let's go ahead and also add our interactable component. And while we're at it, let's open up the prefab now by hitting the open prefab button. And we're going to add a box collider. Oops, I'm sorry, we don't want to hit new script. We want to type box collider up in the search bar, just like that. Let's go ahead and give this a size of three in all directions. Cool. And then we're going to hit uh, is trigger on that. So now what we need to do is open up the mystery chest script. So we're going to double click on it. And we're going to delete uh, everything inside of this script by default. So this void start and void update we can get rid of. And we're going to start by adding some variables. So we're going to start with a public integer cost. And we're going to set that equal to 100. And that's going to equate to how many points we're taking from the player whenever they want to use the mystery chest. Next, we're going to say public float selection delay equals 3f. That's how long it's going to take for the selection to be made when you activate the mystery chest. We're going to say public weapon controller oops, dot weapon type in all caps, weapon underscore type. Oops. And we're going to make that an array, so we need to have those, those square brackets there. We're going to say weapons. Next, we're going to say public game object array. We're going to say weapon, oops, weapon object, so OBJs. Finally, we're going to say float selection time, bool active equals false, bool weapon ready equals false. And finally, weapon controller dot weapon type selected weapon and the semicolon. Great. So those are all the variables we're going to make use of in this script. Next, what we want to do is say public void use chest open and close parentheses. We're going to say if not active. We want to say if player inventory dot instance dot current gold is greater than or equal to our cost, we want to uh, say player inventory dot instance dot add gold is negative cost. And that might be a, seem like a weird way to do this, but we only really need one method to add or remove gold from our player's inventory. If we're, so long as we just make the amount that we're adding negative, it's the same as writing a whole other method to remove gold. So we can just use a negative value there and it'll work perfectly fine. And then we're actually going to use an open chest method here. And then outside of our if active, so the second set of brackets down here, we're going to say else if weapon ready. We have to say take weapon. And we're going to fill these methods out in the next step. But just so you can uh, save and hit the check setup button, what we're going to say is void open chest, open and close parentheses, and add our brackets. And we're going to say void take weapon open and close parentheses and the brackets so that's going to get rid of our errors but we'll actually fill these methods out um, in the next couple steps